Hey folks, Brian here. Um, this video is sort of a video response to uh, OG GM, old grumpy guy. Um, he's running a series of videos on games ending. This, this latest one was Why Games End Expectations, and the first few minutes of it got me thinking about my request, um, Rope Man Glorantha game, and my own personal feelings here with with how that, while well, it hasn't ended, it was going through some, am I going to be able to continue kind of step. Um, started, uh, may have been December last year, so a year ago. Maybe we're pushing on to two now. We gotta be pushing on to two years. Yeah, because we only play every fortnight, and um, I've got well over 60 sessions out there, I think. No, 30, four, at least 40 sessions. Yeah, that's close to two years. Okay, so anyway, in my first game, uh, I thought, went fairly well. I mean, there were some, you know, not personality issues, but my game style versus their game style connecting kinds of things. Uh, we did it all online. We started out with Skype. My buddy Bruce is on the West Coast. We wanted to play on the East Coast, the U.S. And um, that first game, our first few games, had a fellow from Perth, Australia, a guy from New Zealand, uh, Bruce. Um, I want to say a guy from like Colorado, Midwest, kind of two guys in the Midwest area, kind of thing. So, and at one point, we actually had a guy in England try to get on, but it was like two in the morning, for example. <laughs> that did not work. Uh, but after a few sessions, uh, the guys in Australia and New Zealand dropped out. Um, they said it was you know, a scheduling kind of thing because they were playing Sunday morning their time and then football season just started and so you know, they're involved with that kind of thing so they weren't able to play. And then uh, a couple of other guys dropped out and so I went back to you know Facebook looking for more players and I still got a game running. Uh, I had a guy come on, play for a few sessions. Uh, then he had to drop out. Another guy come in from West Virginia. He played for a few sessions through the summer. And his wife got back from uh, a uh, park ranger summer thing she was doing out west. And he had to cut off after that. And so I'm going through these serial. Oh, there's actually one guy I had to say sorry. You got to go. <laughs> this is not working. For us, so <clears throat> throughout every single time I, I lose a player, I'm like, is my game really that bad? Uh, we all seem to be having fun. Yeah, scheduling things do happen. Um, like easier to cut off than somebody you've got a relationship, you know, play with your friends every Friday night kind of thing is different than having a game online. But I thought a number of times that my play style was not mesh, mesh, meshing with their play style, and they were just being polite. And having other reasons why they didn't want to play or they couldn't play and that can take a toll on you it really can um i've got a group back up with what appear to be pretty solid guys uh, and bruce has been with me the whole time so i've always got that one player <laughs> but something to consider and to remember life goes on you deal with issues um, and, you, and you keep trucking. Um, I guess I want to get across is that there are downtime. Because every game I played, I felt pretty up on. I, I feel great afterwards, you know, that kind of stuff. And if you're watching my uh, video review, my session review videos, you'll see I'm pretty hyped up on, on things that were going on and disrupting things and things happening. But those downtimes do come. And... It may come to a point where it's just not going. Actually, I've been with the D&D 5e session, session game that uh, I was running. It was, uh, we are doing the Princess of Apocalypse, that campaign book that got out. And I think we hit the holiday season and people you know, were missing, 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 and they just kind of died off. Nobody had any interest. And it's 5e. At that point, I was pretty much done with 5e. So, you know, no real skin off my back. But 
when those times do come where things start questioning yourself, you know, am I writing good, any good stuff? Is things connecting? Are are the players, you know, immersed? You know, that kind of stuff. Are they are they connecting with the game? Are we all having fun? And you start to question that. Am I doing it? Am I doing it? But I don't necessarily know what to tell you except that the sun always rises. Happy games.